So for 4, so f inverse x is equal to 6x plus 7. So find f. So find f. So same inverse of f. So we have f inverse f inverse x. So if we f inverse f inverse x is equal to x. So we inverse the function. So 6x plus 7 is equal to y. So to get the inverse, we equal to y, then find x. So 6x is equal to y minus 7. x is equal to y minus 7 over 6. This one, this one is f inverse x. So we have f y is equal to y minus 7 over 6. So f x is equal to x minus 7 over 6. So for b, f inverse x is equal to 2 minus x over 5. So if we inverse f back, we will get fx. So 2x over 5 is equal to y. 2 minus x is equal to 5y. x is equal to, we bring it to the right and this is to the left. So x is equal to 2 minus 5y. So fy is equal to 2 minus 5y. fx is equal to 2 minus f5x. Sorry. Alright, for C, so for C, F negative inverse X is equal to 3X over X minus 3. So, 3X over X minus 3 is equal to Y. 3X is equal to Y, X minus 3. 3X is equal to XY minus 3Y. So, we bring X together. 3X minus XY is equal to negative 3y x 3 minus y is equal to negative 3y over 3 minus y so we have here this one is f inverse so we get f y is equal to negative 3y over 3 minus y f x is equal to negative 3x over 3 minus x so we change y to x so everything with y will change to x now, we have negative in front. If we don't want to have negative in front, we have to uh, change the position of the denominator. So, we will have 3x is equal to x minus 3.